Right, so now the whole country is officially back to school. Now, very exciting. Today, we are launching something new in our kitchen. When, uh, we're calling it the Espresso Culinary Hotline. Every Thursday, we'll have one of our Espresso chefs in studio to answer those burning foodie questions you might have. Whether you've come across a strange ingredients or you would like to know more or, you know, regardless, regarding baking or had a serious baking flop even, you can post it on our Facebook and Twitter pages or you can actually call us live on 083-91-33728. Our lines are now open if you have a question. Zozo is in the house to take your questions. Call me. And of course, if you are going to ask those questions on our social media pages, use the hashtag Ask Espresso. Yes. This is very exciting. I it mean, is there's, very exciting. there's a lot of people I hope out I can there. I'll answer the questions that people ask me. Okay, so, so, so here we go. I mentioned the lines are open. So if you want to talk to Zola now, if you have a question, you can phone in right now. Yes. But the first question we had on Facebook comes from Chanel Miller. She says, When making a red velvet cake, why should white vinegar be added to the mixture? And if you don't have white, can brown vinegar be used? Okay, that's a very good question. Actually, when red velvet was first created, it actually used Dutch processed cocoa, which is alkaline. Okay. And there was no red food coloring added. The acid that you add is what turned the cake red. Really? So that's where it actually comes from. Okay. So when they ask you to add vinegar, it's sort of the tradition of adding acid. Also, when you add acid to a, a cake sponge, it makes a softer texture. Yeah. So because it's such a minuscule amount that they ask you to add in the recipe, brown vinegar will do just fine. You can use a apple cider vinegar, white wine vinegar, any vinegar. What I wouldn't recommend is using balsamic vinegar. Oh, so yes, you, you can, you can substitute. Funny taste. You might get a bit of a strange <laughs> taste. But yeah, brown vinegar, fine to substitute. Awesome. Chanel, there we go. I hope that answers your question. Remember, our lines are open. Oh, wait, 391-33728. Ask your question to yes. Chef Zozo now. <laughs> we had another question here as well. This is also another interesting one. Yeah. From Trisha Rampel. It says that Zola, please can you tell me how to whip cream uh, properly? Every time I try whipping cream, it separates. Oh, please, please help. That's a problem that most people do have. Um, what I can recommend is make sure that you whip your cream from cold. So keep it in the fridge until you're ready to whip. Okay. And also the cardinal rule with cream is not to over whip it. Yeah. So when it starts splitting, that means it's been over whipped. If you've just gone over just by a little bit, by a few sort of spins, yeah. you can bring it back by adding some liquid cream. Okay. and then whipping just a little bit more. But if you've gone to butter, then I can't yeah. help you. But <laughs> Don't yeah, make so butter. The, the, the main rule is just do it from very, very cold cream. All right, all okay. right. Well, Zola, we have a, a caller Ooh, on the line. Yay. Liz, good morning. Hello, Liz. Good morning, Zola. Hi. Um, I just want to know, I, like I said, I normally make a pie pastry, but I would love to make my own pastry. OK. She, she said what? So, she likes to what, make What's the ingredients, yeah. Oh, to make your own pastry? Yes. So if you're making sort of a, a sweet pastry, it's basically just butter, flour, and a bit of sugar mixed together. Yeah. Um, you can add milk or water just to bind it. And okay. the main rule with pastry is to keep everything cold and mix yeah. it as little as possible. So if you have a food processor, even better. Just give it a few sort of pulses. If you're doing it by hand, rub it with the fingertips. That's the coolest part of your hand. And lift and aerate. So yeah. There you go. Liz, okay, thank you for your thank question. You, Pleasure, you so Liz. Much. Pleasure. There you go. This is really exciting. This is exciting. I'm so glad I could answer Liz's question. <laughs> awesome. Well, there you have it. I mean, our lines will be open every Thursday. That number 083-913-3728. Alternatively, ask that burning question on either our Facebook page, Expresso Morning Show, SABC3, or on Twitter, tagging us at Expresso Show with a hashtag Ask Expresso. Yes. Very, very cool. Right. So, I see pancakes. Okay. I see apricots. Yes. I see sugar. I see yummy stuff. So, what are we making? All sorts of yummy stuff. Okay. So, apricots are in season at the moment. They're yes. really good for you at the prime of their eating. So, you should definitely do something with it Get now. on that. Get on there, make jam even if you're into <laughs> that. Right. Okay, so let's start. So, we're so what are you a, making? We're making a, an apricot pancake pancake stack. Wow, Ooh, say okay. that a few times fast. Apricot okay, so let's, stack. let's start with the filling because that's the most sort of right. um, work. So what in here we've using? got some eggs that I've just whisked. Alrighty. A bit of cast of snow, so it's a salati cast of snow. Righto. A bit of flour just to help us thicken and a bit of corn flour also to help us stabilize the mixture. So in essence, we're making um, a creme patisserie, okay. which is a very, which is a thick and cream basically oh, a thickened custard sorry thickened custard. okay and then in the pot here we've got some milk that's been boiling with a, bit a vanilla, vanilla pot there. that's been split in there so i'm just gonna okay you whisk all right just so i can this is a heavy pot wait my sister said what do this yeah just hold it out there in the but <laughs> no not don't try with liquids don't try with liquids okay <laughs> so whisk the the milk into the um flour and egg mixture okay that's good and then you're going to pour it back in here 
So back into right the, now. Well, right now, yeah. All right. And then what you want to do is sort of stir it and cook it until it's thickened. Don't stress too much about this because it does have the flour and the corn flour in it, so it will right. it will sort of stabilize and um, thicken very nicely. It won't split yeah. like a normal custard. Okay. Okay. So all you want to do is be gentle, be slow, medium heat, stir it consistently, and That's then it. it'll thicken and look like this. All we've done is to cool it, made sure we put the plastic directly on. See how okay, it's and then it's nice and nice and firm. How it's all gelified. Well, yeah. it's set nicely. And there's no gelatine in there. There's no gelatine. It's right. literally those ingredients that have just been heated up and thickened. Okay. Okay. Awesome. So let's, okay, we'll come back to that. Here are apricots, fresh, delicious, great stuff. <laughs> just okay. halve them, taking the pip out, and then we're going to roast these because, you know, you heighten oh, wow. the flavor of things when what you roast that? them. This is some maple syrup. Maple syrup. Yeah, very fragrant, very delicious. And those vanilla pods that we used earlier that we, yeah. we split, we just took the seeds out, and then a bit of salat, salati demerara sugar. Sugar, just uh -huh. for a little bit of crunch and a bit of an extra sort of cheekliness. Caramelization going it's on. Caramelization there. immediately, yeah. So you're packing a, a punch of flavor before you even do anything. Okay. Into the oven, 180 degrees until they're roasted and delicious and they'll look like that. Alrighty. And then what you want to do is take half of these and puree them. So that's what we got here. Is that it, that? It looks like butternut, but I promise you it's not. I was not. just about to say, why are we using butternut? It's not. Okay. So what you want to do is whisk your custard up here okay. and then add your apricot mixture. Oh, oh, you can just imagine how apricotty and delightful mm. this is going to be. This is such a nice idea as an alternative the, to eating pancakes. It is. And the mm. final step of this, obviously, is to make the pancakes. So make the pancakes, Pretty use much, your favorite yeah. recipe. You could actually even use a box milk mix and make them. You could yeah. buy frozen pancakes if you're that way inclined. Okay, so let's right. assemble. So we've started assembling there. Okay. So, oh, I just stepped on your foot. It's Sorry. okay, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so pancake stacks. Right, a bit of the filling. Be a bit generous with the filling. Oh, Don't wow. worry. If it oozes, it's fine. So you top with the pancake. There we go. If it oozes, it's fine. It adds character. It makes it look more homemade. That's and then it. you just keep layering, keep layering. And then the half of the apricots that we didn't puree, we're going to add to the top. That's and it's the like, decoration. Exactly. It's like a cake, you see? All right. But well, it's made from pancakes. This is absolutely, oh man, you know what? One of my favorite things on the whole planet is pancakes. I know, right? I know how you, and you're a, a pancake <laughs> aficionado. I'm a pancake master. I've seen, uh, sorry, a master. Exactly. Master. Listen, if you want to try out our pan apricot pancake stack this morning, very easy. SMS the keyword Salati to 33728. That's Salati to 33728. We'll send everything you need to know straight to your phone. Those SMSs cost one rand fifty and really, really a nice dessert to try out. Yes. Okay, I will, so I'm I will literally have this for dinner, you know I, I would too. And hey? it is, it's like a cake. It's, an, it's a great alternative to birthday cake. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if you like, look at the pancakes, there's eggs in there, it's flour. You know, it's it how, is. It's a cake just with a difference. That's exactly. it. But I love it. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to keep keep stacking. All right. And then uh, as soon as I finish the, the filling here, I'm going to just top it with the, um, the remaining roasted apricots. And that's right. it. That's it. Perfect. That's our cake. One more layer, perfect. So while we finish this guy up, here's one last look at how we made our apricot pancake stack. For the apricots, sprinkle apricots with sugar, vanilla seeds, maple syrup and thyme. Roast. For the filling, heat milk and vanilla. Whisk eggs, sugar, flour and corn flour. Then add warm milk. Cook until thick, then add pureed apricots. For the pancakes, whisk milk, eggs, and oil, then slowly add flour. Cook pancakes. To assemble, lay a pancake and filling, ending with a pancake. For the full recipe, visit the Expresso Morning Show Facebook page or log on to expressoshow.com. SMS the keyword SALATI to 33728 to receive the shopping list on your phone. Click on the link provided to view the recipe on our Mobi site. SMSs cost one rand fifty. No free SMSs. T's and C's apply. Let me give it a bit of a dusting. That keyword once again: salati to three three seven two eight, and you can get your hands on the recipe to our apricot pancake stack this morning. Beautiful. What Zola. I forgot to say was wow. I added a bit of time to the actual apricots. Time and apricots, great match. Go well together, and it's, it's wow! A little, what a nice little a little sprig. Look how beautiful. Absolutely. This oh, is perfection. Yay. Perfection right here by <laughs> Zola. An apricot pancake stack on your Feel Good Breakfast Show this morning. It's all about apricots. They are in season. That they keyword, are. Salati, to 33728. Thank you, my dear. Pleasure, Matt. always. So, so just one question. Would you refrigerate this now after you've made refrigerate it? Refrigerate it until you're ready to serve and then just cut it as you would a cake. Cut it. Everyone like... gets a slice. Love Lovely. it. Very, very cool. Salati, to 33728. Right now, time for Kat to tell us what is still to come on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. The sweetness lingers longer with another delicious recipe brought to you by Salati.